Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to make your own mini computer using Raspberry Pi with iStarver, so stay tuned. Moving on, after Raspberry Pi being out of stock and overpriced for many months, I was finally able to get my hand on some of them so I can start working on some projects. This is thanks to Yeldermart for sending these to me at a reasonable price. Moving on to build our Raspberry Pi mini PC, we need few things. The first and most important thing that we need is the Raspberry Pi itself. In this case, I got the Raspberry Pi 4 computer model B 2GB RAM at the price of $45 after tax and some other things about $60. This compact computer comes with many things, including two micro HDMI ports, two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, and also onboard Wi Fi and Bluetooth with Gigabyte Ethernet port. You also have a micro SD slot which you can put in your SD card. As you can see, this is a compact computer, and like any other computer, it will get hot, so we have to keep the temperature at the ideal temperature. And there are two ways to keep the temperature cool. One is using regular heat sinks and normal fans, and the other one is using ice stopper. In this video, we mainly focus on using an ice stopper. However, if you want to use normal heat sink and fans, definitely check out my other video at the link above. As we can see here, I decided to go with a more type of premium ice stopper. I got this from Micro Center after tax about $30. Not only this ice hour makes your setup look better, but it also does a really good job on maintaining the temperature at the ideal level. So I really recommend getting a nice tower, but if you're not keeping your Raspberry Pi on for too long or doing an intense work with it, definitely it's fine to just go with the normal heat sink and fan that come with the PC case. Throughout this video I'll show you how to use both ways. First I'll show you how to use the normal fans and the heat sink that come with the case and also I'll show you how to use Raspberry Pi. So then it's your choice to pick the, whichever you like. Some other thing we need is the power supply and the storage. For the power supply I use the official Raspberry Pi power supply and for the storage a micro SD card in order to flash the OS into it. Also, we need a PC case to make things more realistic and less boring. I decided to go with this PC case, which makes this Raspberry Pi look like a real PC. Uh, so let's go ahead and watch the build. I hope you enjoy it.
I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Also, if you are interested in any of the items used in here, you can check their individual unboxing in my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe.